What's up guys, welcome to a new video. So today we are back on the tier list. It's been about around a month since the last video. So we thought, I thought I'll come back to it. Look at the comments of the last video, see what other people have thought, what upgrades to make, who to move. So we'll sort of break down those and then uh, go over the sort of the full tier list. Uh, we went over it in the first video, so we won't go over it all again or why people are where. Uh, if you've got any questions of why people are where or, um, or where they are or who you want up, who you want down, just leave a comment in this video and I'll make the update for next month's tier list. But let's jump right into the cosmic class. So last video I had Galen at the, uh, as first and Hercules in the top five. After looking at comments uh, that you know people had to say, there was a few questions asking why they were there, uh, why they were switched around. I think at the time I'd been hit by a bit of recency bias. I'd seen Galen take out the that war path um, with Nimrod on, and you can see how quickly he takes out fights in battlegrounds. However, after getting in myself, still, you know, one of the most fun champions to play, like real, real good fun. However, I do think Hercules probably just tops it in quests and then battlegrounds himself. The immortality, the uh, sig ability is just huge. So I do think he does sort of deserve that number one spot and, re and, and regain that with Gallon going down. As you can see, uh, the orange is champs I will talk about. The star are champions, were ch also champions that I was going to talk about. And then we also have a sort of infinite sign, like as you can see on King Group, which means that they benefit from being high sig. There will be a few sigs that I've missed or, you know, that infinity sign that I would have missed. So just drop some comments below on who you think should have it. I haven't done just like anyone. So obviously Hercules gets that immortality if he's sigged, but he's very good without it. Same with Galen, same with CGR, same with Hulklin, Null. Like they all are good sigged up. But I'm talking about people who really, really need that sig ability. For example... If we go a bit further down, just to find the example of someone who is really, really sort of reliant on that, that SIG ability to be, to be really, really good. Just having a look now, I can't remember who I had under that. Anyway, we'll, we'll get to the video and I'm sure I'll, I'll find them in a minute. But someone like King Groot, you know, he's almost unkillable. He has such high survivability when he's SIG 200, the regeneration, the amount of health, all of that, so... He benefits really highly and goes from being, you know, a relatively okay champ or pretty good to, to really good in stuff like incursions. The champ above him, we've got Gore. Gore's got the star because he was moved up to push in the boundary swap for uh, Vision Arcus. Arcus was up there because he's one of my fave champs, very good in battlegrounds as a defender. Like I said in the last video, I used him an absolute ton, but I just felt that maybe there was a little bit of um, sort of favoritism there, so... I swapped in with Gore because I've seen, uh, as you guys would have, the buff for Gore that has come out and how huge that is and how much better it makes him. It almost doubles his undermine if just him Sig 1 makes him better than Sig 200 current Gore is. So, you know, absolutely worth it. He also really good on Battlegrounds defense and offense. So, yeah, someone that uh, someone that's definitely worth taking up and then... In the god tier, we've got Co Obsidian. There was a comment asking that um, maybe he should be moved up. So I've thought about it. I thought, where you know, who should I swap him with? I feel like god tier is definitely where he needs to be. Going up to to the sort of definitely upgrade. I'm not really sure who I'd swap out for Co Obsidian. I've seen a lot of gameplay with him. I know he is a good champ. However. He doesn't quite top those champs above him. They just have a lot more utility or they are very useful. But that's not to say he's not a great champ. I still think he is amazing. But he is definitely better than a lot of the champs in that god tier and um, and all tiers below. Now we move to the mutant area. So this is who I was talking about with the uh, big Sig Reliance. So Omega Red, very good champ. Obviously he's basically double immune with that really, really reduced bleed. However... Sig 200, you know, if if you've got him Sig 200, he absolutely melts. Could even go in as that one above all if Kitty Pride wasn't so good. However, she's up there. He's still in the top five, but he is somebody who has that sort of uh, infinity symbol to say, you know, he, as a Sig 200, he's very good. I've also got, there's not many people to talk about in this uh, mutant 
class i feel like i did a pretty good job setting it out if you guys have any other um you know any queries about it or any any one you should think should go up or down obviously i think the top five is pretty you know set in stone i've got strife in orange because battling him recently in a few quests and uh, battlegrounds i just find him a real pain and i think maybe has he got the potential to go up i don't know who he's replacing in that top five but he's definitely a great champ and then just looking at it sauron down there in the god tier great champ if you know how to fight him and you've got a nimrod he's basically he, he has really no importance at all so not really someone who is worth uh, moving up as those above him are maybe a little bit better however again i think maybe wolverine gambit could swap out for maybe a toad or a, a storm x you guys let me know on that one what are your thoughts on that then going down to the mystic again i think i've got the top five pretty good i i I saw a comment saying that they think Hood should go up. I also agree. I think Hood is a great champ. The only person I'd think about switching him for is Clairvoyant, but she is just so versatile and great utility being the double immune, the buff immunity, just, you know, really, really good champ. A lot of people really love her, argue that she could be the number one. So I'm not really sure. Again, let me know in the comments below who should Hood replace. Should he go up? Should he stay where he is? He is first on that list as, you know, he's somebody who really benefits from or sorry definitely should be there because he's he's the one who is really about to go into the next um the next sort of tier there and that's why he's at the top of that one again america chavez is the only other champ in in orange here her buff looks really really good she looks like she's going to be a really heavy attacker i've actually moved her up already uh seeing that she's gone from um the worth upgrading to the god tier i think she is sort of on the level of those above her the only sort of question i i would have regarding the rest of um the mystic tier is mordo i think he's great really hard to take down on in battlegrounds horrible defender however you know you you can get over that with a the power gain champ or a power control champ sorry so again not really sure i think american chavez should go up i think she's going to be a really you know a bit of a bully she's going to really take down a, a lot of the difficult cosmic champs so yeah i think she's you know really really good champion and um, I think she's she's definitely earned that that place up. Obviously, moving on to the science class now. So again, I think the top five is pretty set in stone. Maybe Overseer could replace Immortal Abomination or Mister Fantastic. Let me guys let me know what you guys think. I think they're both great champs. I just really think Immortal Abomination is a bit underrated. He um, can take out so many matchups that you wouldn't expect. A lot of people think. You know, he's only really those poisons and that's it. But, you know, he's a lot more with that. No one's immune to the acid burn. Tough defender. If you, if they're not poison immune, then they're done for. They lose. So on Battlegrounds um, games, you know, he's really good for that. And then moving to the to the champs in orange, we've got Spot. Spot moves um, up. Or Spot is... I have a question regarding Spot. Do Do I think he should move up? I've, I think I've moved him up as um, I see a lot of YouTubers, Vega being one, talking a lot about how um, he's really, really versatile. He can be a really good defender or a really good attacker. And um, I do think maybe he could even be in, you know, in these higher lists in the sort of top five, maybe once people start to use him more often, see how good he is. And then, yeah, I think he's deserved deserved of of the moving up and then we've got immortal hulk who i believe he replaces i do like immortal hulk i don't think he's as good as anyone else in that list the spot the quakes the titanias the voids i i don't even think he's any better than red hulk joe fix it she hulk or red guardian i think he's he's okay but apart from being having that immortality uh sig ability i don't really think he's that worth it i do think he's still a great champ don't get me wrong but Again, Hulk Ragnarok, I think he it could also just be as good as this Immortal Hulk, so maybe he could go down one more or do a swap. Again, let me know what you guys think, but yeah, that's, that's sort of my thoughts on, on, on this, on sort of the science, the science class. So we've obviously got two classes left. Going into the skill class, Nick Fury. Obviously, Nick Fury, great champ. When he gets awakened, it's that double life, one of the best SIG abilities in the game, in my opinion, so that's why he's got that um infinite sign and then 
that's a pretty set in stone top five i in my opinion i think you could maybe stick blade in it maybe hit monkey i just recently got myself a black widow deadly origin she absolutely shreds if they're not shock immune so another great champ but moving into the champs in orange uh we've got three on this one so we've got korg i moved him up I felt like he deserved that move up. Great defensive champ. You know, he's one of the top two, top three defenders, in my opinion, with Domino uh, and maybe Penny. But he doesn't really have many counters, and counters are a bit harder to come by. And he still does that Thorns damage. So in Battlegrounds, he's just really great, and you see him all over the place in War. He's also a little reliant on a, on a Sig, just with the Thorns. Um, however, again, great champ, definitely worth it. And then somebody who links quite similar to him, is Atuma. I feel like when people get Atuma a bit more, have got him as a six star, we start to watch a few more YouTubers with Atuma in their deck, see how he plays. I feel like he'll be a real handful. The purifiability on, on some of his stuns, the um, hydration buildup he has, the thorns in his kit. I feel like you know, I might go with a little hot take here, but I feel like he could be a better Korg in the future once people have got used to him, once more people have got him and we really see him showcased. Um, and then he switch out, switches his, that position for Aegon, who I believe is good, but, you know, with, we aren't getting much more Everest content. You know, we're not getting that Realm of Legends, Abyss of Legends. So Aegon is slowly starting to lose his sort of, I guess you know the main reason he exists really and and the longer we don't get that the more useless is probably a hard word but the uh, harsh word sorry but you know the less need need we have for a gone and i think he could slowly slip i feel like he's still a great champ he still deserves to not be in this these bottom three tiers with um these champions who are absolute buff worthy champions all pretty terrible but yeah, he switches out for a Tuma. And then going on to the tech class, the last class here, we have quite the, the most oranges. Omega Sentinel is in there. She swaps for Infamous Iron Man. I feel like uh, when we first all saw Infamous Iron Man, I feel like we definitely thought, oh, that's a great, he's a Doom. But he's not quite Doom. He's still a great champ, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't quite put him in my top five just yet because we've not seen much gameplay of him, no six stars. Him being the highest prestige champ as well, obviously benefits him we're going to see a lot of sig 200s a lot of high levels rank fours but at the minute i do think those those four above or those five above are a lot better and omega sentinel in particular being able to take out uh, prowess really countering the bishops of the world yeah she's really helpful so many um so much utility really great champ uh, as you'll know and then going on a bit war machine there were a few comments, or there was a comments in the last video saying that they reckon War Machine should come up. He really counters those um, those bishops and uh, a lot of a lot of champs, a lot of mutants. Sorry, so I have moved him up. I thought swap him out for Rocket. The Rocket buff was good, but it wasn't quite as good as I think maybe a lot of these other champs in in the same place. I think Doctor Octopus could also move up. Iron Man Infinity War. By the time there's another tier list, he'll be moved up. So, you know, you'll see a lot of a lot of movement in the tech class and um and that also goes for Shuri. I think fighting her is annoying with the um the none of her attacks are contact, therefore she can't really parry her. So she's basically stun immune unless you've got champs who can um parry non contacts. But again, good build up, good damage, but we've not seen much of her. We've only really seen a, a glimpses of a tumor and hardly any Shuri. So once Again, as I've said previously, once we get the, um, you know, more information, the six stars, the showcase of her on big YouTube channels, then I think we'll truly see how powerful she is. However, if you've got a Shuri, if you've got an Atuma, you've got an infamous Iron Man, leave some comments below. Tell me how good they are, you know. And um, again, like last time, this is our tier list. You know, this is the tier list in full. 